There are two purposes of using salt. One is to take care of parasites and bacteria on koi's body. The second purpose is to promote quick recovery from stress, exhaustion, or sickness by balancing osmo regulation. So, when can we use salt? We can use salt when you see a koi swimming a little bit strange. For example, your koi may be swimming fast or slow. They may look sluggish. They may be sitting at the bottom. They may look very, very stressed with pink skin. That's when we use salt. When you see those conditions of your koi, gently catch your koi, place them in your quarantine tank, and medicate them with salt. You can also use salt when you get a new koi, especially when you buy a koi online. They usually travel by air six hours to 20 hours. By the time they get to your home, they are very, very exhausted. You place them in your quarantine tank and let them rest for maybe two weeks with salt. Salt will help them to recover quick. Koi is a freshwater fish. So the bacteria and parasites, they are also freshwater ones. By adding salt to your koi pond, weak enough for the koi to be able to handle, but too strong for bacteria or parasite to handle, we can eliminate them for your koi. Salt level of koi's body's fluid is 0.8%, which is usually much higher than that of our koi pond water. So pond water will keep coming in to the koi's body. When koi is healthy, they know how to get rid of it. However, when koi gets sick, stressed, or very exhausted from the trip, they lose the control. So we will raise the salt level, which is closer to that of a koi's body's fluid. So koi does not have to work as hard to get rid of the water. And then koi can recover quicker. Salt is very useful when we use it right. But when we do not use it right, salt can be very harmful. In the worst case scenario, it may kill your koi. Please be careful with the type of salt. Please do not go to supermarket to buy table salt. We will use non-iodized pure salt. You can easily buy them from Home Depot, Lowe's, or any type of a hardware store. When you put them in your pond, please do not dump them into one section. Please scatter them around of your pond. Or you can probably mix it in a bucket with water and make a salt solution and pour them around the pond. Be gentle. I usually use 0.3 to 0.5%. If the koi is really, really sick, I go up to 0.6%. So if your koi looks a little bit stressed, or if you see the beginning of the disease or sickness, please start with 0.3%. Roughly speaking, three pounds per 100 gallon will make 0.3% but it's always the best to check your water with salt meter. You can buy those digital salt meter online. Please do not use salt with formalin. There are several products on the market that contains formalin as an ingredient. Examples are Proform C and Terminate. The combination may kill your koi. You can use salt with so many different types of medications, but salt cannot get along with formalin. If you have plants in your pond, the plants may not be able to tolerate the salt level that you are using for your koi pond. You may want to move your plants out of your pond when you use salt. This is it for the story of salt. We talk about two main reasons why we use salt. We talk about how we are going to use them. We also talk about three things that we have to be careful with when we use salt. I hope you learned something. 
Thank you very much for listening. Happy koi keeping. Sayonara.